let's take a look uh, what my toolkit is. Again, one man operation. I pretty much carry everything. Sorry for the uh, wiggling. Pretty much carry everything in my pickup, but uh, it can all collapse down into your SUV, your trunk, uh, what have you. So let's, uh, let's take a look. So we've got our tripod hoist here and I'll uh, tell you, uh, or you've seen in other videos how to build it, I'll maybe paraphrase it. Uh, tripod hoist, uh, we got some safety chains, we've got our um, uh, joint setting compound or, or monument setting compound in the back. Uh, so I've just got a water uh, uh, spray, spray jug, uh, garden sprayer, basically these uh, uh, two quart uh, uh, or two gallon jugs have water in them. These spouts I got at Walmart and or you can find them at maybe a auto supply store. They're very handy because especially if you have to pour water along or on top of a uh, monument for cleaning and it's not sitting perfectly level, this lets you squirt it, direct it right onto any surface, any area. And they're just a hell of a lot easier to carry than you know five gallon pails or, or whatever. Uh, you might be having, or might be using. So here's my uh, some of my other toolkits. So we've got uh, basically various spray bottles. I've got a spray bottle of just the water. I've got a spray bottle of a, about a 50-50 mix of Simple Green and also a 50-50 mix of D2, uh, which is my ultimate uh, cleaner. Uh, the Simple Green and also 100% mixtures in those yellow ones. Various scrub brushes. And actually, one of the one of the handiest or simplest uh, tools to clean a monument, even if you're just trying to take pictures for find a stone, is just a plastic. These are key cards from uh, hotel rooms, or the first time I uh, needed something like that, I pulled out my least used card out of my pocket, my AAA card. Over here, we've got uh, some squares, some brushes, some levels, some some string, some alignment string. Uh, also an adhesive that I've started using called uh, Fuse It by Liquid Nails and this stuff works great. Now there's some debate on whether you should use that. Well, in this case, I'm not restoring, I'm trying to repair, re-erect and hopefully uh, get these monuments up for another hundred years. But you'll see me use that maybe a little more frequently than some of this uh, uh, compound I showed you earlier. So basically, put it in a tub, put it in something handy to carry it in. This bucket is for my uh, chain, chain hoist and safety chains and pins. Uh, if you're going to leave it in the back of your pickup uh, like, like I do, uh, I need to add a hole in the bottom of this so the water drains out should I uh, get caught in the rain. So uh, again, uh, various scrub brushes. If I'm taking pictures, sometimes uh, this reflector will uh, give me a better contrast on the uh, engraving in the uh, on the stone got a pair of loppers to cut shrubbery branches uh, some uh, ratchet straps of different sizes wood blocks of varying sizes uh, these these ones right here are mainly used uh, i'll put them under the legs of the tripod if uh, i'm on soft ground a um, couple pair of gloves leather gloves you're going to be digging working with aggregate so on our uh, chain hoist here uh, sometime, most of the time I can just hook it into the um, uh, hook of the chain hoist. Once in a while I might have to use that clevis depending on how many items or if I'm using uh, like those lifting straps, they've got big fabric loops, uh, I'll use this. It's actually called an axle strap. It's only about a couple feet long. I'll hook this through the lifting strap loops and then I'll hook the metal rings into the uh, uh, chain hoist. Uh, this is something new I've got this year and actually uh, picked it up at Menards, my local supply store. It's called a brick tong. Uh, pretty light, lightweight. Uh, I bought it more for the concept to see how it work, would work. And actually it did come in handy for 16, 20 bucks, whatever it was. Uh, personally, I think in the one time I used it, it did pay for itself. Again, because I'm doing just about everything alone out here. I had to uh, lift a, a little uh, a slab uh, that I reset a, a tablet on. Pry bars, curl bars, call them what you will. I've got a heavier one and a lighter one. And you notice I've got uh, pieces of radiator hose and basically that is to 
protect the monument should I happen to be uh, uh, pressing against it or just uh, for safety to keep from scratching and marring. Got a few different, a uh, couple different shovels uh, and a spade, a tamping uh, tool, I think that's about a 10 pounder. And just a tip, I kind of, uh, last time I was out here pounding this, don't force it down with your hand. Let the tool do the work. Throw it down and kind of release it and let the weight of the tool uh, so it's a hell of a lot easier on your uh, wrists and elbows and all your joints. Uh, another pry bar uh, from the farm. Uh, one of the most important things too is uh, safety and protection. So sun protection as well as sunscreen. Uh, when needed, I uh, put on safety goggles and ear protection, especially uh, when I was out here spending, I don't know how long, clearing this fence line with a chainsaw. So uh, that's, uh, that's the gist of my, my toolbox, uh, five gallon pails to refill for uh, aggregate and gravel. Uh, this, oh, the sledgehammer, sometimes I'll also use that to tamp around, for example, if I've, got a, if I've got an apron or something and it's just not quite level, it can be kind of a pain in the butt to try to lift that up, throw some sand in or push aggregate under. Sometimes I'm just, and maybe just because I'm a little anal, um, I'll just go around the edge of it or where, wherever I'm low and I'll tamp basically along here to force the aggregate or sand underneath this, uh, the pad or apron. Um, and so that's what I'll use the uh, sledgehammer for. The other things I use the sledgehammer for is basically to break up uh, these old pieces so I can haul them out of here. Got a big one sitting up here that I have tried my darndest, swung my hardest. Uh, yeah, it's probably a 300 pounder up there yet, but uh, I've already taken away two thirds of it by busting it up with a sledgehammer and just uh, uh, good form of manual labor. Uh, you know, when you get into these bigger items, um, you know, that's where we're going to get into using our tripod, our pry bars basically leverage 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 use your head don't use your avoid using your body as much as possible so that's a primer on uh, what we got going here and uh, i'll show you a little more on the uh, tripod again maybe an abbreviated version of how to set it up how to build it how to use it compared to some of the other videos but uh, again uh, you know i'm just trying to be a good cemeterian uh, i'm just doing this all this by myself volunteer work um, at a little cemetery just uh, about five minutes from my home. So if I can do it, uh, hopefully you can do it uh, as well. Or just something as simple as taking pictures, uh, cleaning the grass around, uh, around the base of monuments. You don't have to go to this, ext uh, this extreme, but uh, uh, it's keeping me occupied uh, in retirement. So I uh, hope this helps. Thanks much.